Vlogmas Day 1. <laughs> it's December 1st. I like starting Vlogmas on December 1st. I don't know, it's something in my personality type. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Like, I think some people started their Vlogmas like a week ago. Um, but I just got some ornaments on my tree finally, so I think I'm ready to kick off Vlogmas. <laughs> But anyways, it's early morning. I just uh, did a killer um, inner thigh routine with Blogilates. I'll link it down below. Oh my God, my thighs are dying. It's her shape of your thighs one. But anyways, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on. I haven't done anything else skincare wise. Um, you guys know, first thing in the morning, I just put sunscreen on and um, mascara and go. <laughs> That's my routine. Uh, but earlier this week, I reviewed for you guys all the Drunk Elephant products as you were re requesting. Um, and at the end of the video, I touched on my experience with their new D-Bronzini anti-pollution drops. This is basically a tint you can add to your moisturizer or sunscreen uh, to kind of give it a bronzy glow. And so I thought for fun, I would just, you know, for demonstrative purposes, I would attempt to use it this morning, I have had variable success with this. So this morning, I'm gonna just put a few drops into the Olay Complete uh, Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 30 Sensitive Skin. This is the fragrance-free Olay, uh, just daily facial sunscreen. I've had a little bit of difficulty getting it into water-resistant sunscreens. Uh, FYI, these little droppy doodles. Um, and you know, Drunk Elephant would probably tell you you have to buy their sunscreen and mix it with their sunscreen in order for it to work. But you guys know I tried their sunscreen. I reviewed that a while back and that sunscreen never worked out well for me. I couldn't even get it to stay on my skin for like an hour. Um, but the purpose of this is, I guess, just to tint your, tint your sunscreen. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of sunscreen here in my palm and then I'm just gonna add like one squeegee here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, but who cares? Um, you all always ask me about adding a few drops of tint to your to your sunscreens, like what's a good one to use? Honestly, I never really know how to respond to that because I really don't know. I'm not super comfortable or confident with how that actually affects the final SPF when you add when you add a drop of of tint to things. I know a lot of you do that. Um, and I'm obviously doing it here for demonstrative purposes just to see how this, just so you guys can see how this stuff goes on because I didn't really show it in the, in that video. But yeah, I don't know, like when you add a drop of something to, to sunscreen, you know, sunscreen, they determine the SPF um, and like water resistance and all that by putting it on at um, a certain density. And so I think when you, when you add the tint in, depending on how the tint is formulated, like if it has oils in it, which this does, you know, I always wonder like, can that affect how the sunscreen sets up? And I really worry about it in this case, because I've had trouble getting it to just kind of not be patchy with, with the water resistant one. I'm not used to putting sunscreen on my hand and like then putting it on my face. I was just kind of like, I'm not used to putting it in my palm like this, <laughs> so um, it's a little bit, I'm a little less comfortable with it. I'm just kind of dab it on everywhere, I guess. Uh, I think I'm going to be inside most of the day today. Um, you still need to wear sunscreen, by the way, when you're indoors, because there are windows that come, that in which light comes through, and UVA will come through a window. Even when it's gray and cloudy out, there's still sun. I don't know, I feel like it kind of ends up looking peachy. But when you, if you just put it, if you just put it straight on your skin, you look like a terracotta pot. You're not supposed to do that, I guess. But I didn't like I didn't read the directions when I first got it, and I just went putting on my skin. I'm like, oh my god, this is awful. <laughs> um, and then I was like, oh, these are drops you're supposed to put in in your moisturizer. Duh. <laughs> But, you know, this is just adding a little tint to, to a moisturizing sunscreen, and I already told you how, I'm not sure how that affects how it 
it sets up but I really like I said in the review of this the whole idea of just like adding a few drops of oils to things um, I think is really bad advice particularly when they're active ingredients because and the active ingredients are all things that are like water soluble that can really affect pharmac pharmacologically that can really affect how that active ingredient is subsequently dispersed in a monolayer on your skin and set up and penetrates into into the stratum corneum um, and it can make things clump out depending on what you're drop, dropping in to things. It can make things clump and lead to really uneven application and I think just cause disaster. Not to mention it can affect how well the product stays in place on your skin. Uh, you know, if it's, if it's really oily and you're adding drops in, it can um, uh, weep into areas around your eyes and stuff and just set you up for failure. Like, but then the idea that they want you to go drop, drop or, you know, putting drops of this into your, into your moisturizer and just kind of patchy putting it around, that's, that's really not logical application. The reason being, I mean, you're not getting, you're not getting it evenly on the skin at all when you do that. <laughs> All right, so you can see it though on my skin. It actually looks okay, you know. Um, it actually, I don't know, I can't really tell. So I'll let you guys take a good look at it and I'm gonna go pause the camera and look in the mirror so I can put my mascara on without poking my eyeball out. Uh, and, and then I'll pop back on here. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and put that on so you guys could see what it looked like in the flesh. <laughs> but I'm gonna go finish getting dressed and I'll check in with you guys once I do that. Ah, that's better. I've got my coffee. I don't know. I think it looks okay. And, you know, now you can see that I'm out here. Maybe you can see. I'm not sure. On my, the transition from my neck to my upper chest. I didn't put any on my upper chest. You should totally put sunscreen here, by the way. I will before I go out. Um, but you can see it blends in pretty well because I'm pretty fair. So it's a nice sort of subtle glow. I... I can see the appeal for that. It is not bad. It does have iron oxides in it for whatever that's worth. The iron oxides will, all, will offer a little bit of protection from visible blue light specifically. When people say, um, you know, blocks against blue light and you, you guys always want to know is blue light damaging the skin? Well, it can contribute to hyperpigmentation. We know that. Um, but and iron oxides offer a little bit of additional protection against that. Zinc and titanium also offer protection against those against those blue light wavelengths. Chemical filters do not, however. So if you like chemical sunscreens because they blend in really well, you may want to consider getting getting one with a tint to get some iron oxides in there. But sunscreen aside, I've got some festivities going on here. It's a bit chaotic because I have some stuff I wanted to show you guys. All right, first of all, candle update. I um, started my holiday candle burning with this Candlelight Company Warm Gingerbread Snap, a uh, cheapy candle that I got at Kroger. And I like it. However, it smells nothing like gingerbread or ginger snaps. It smells like caramel corn. Not upset, I like the way it smells, but it just, I was expecting a gingerbread cookie smell and it smells nothing like that. Um, Candlelight Company candles are sort of hit or miss, they are no Tuscany. Tuscany will be next. I have the peppermint one and the gingerbread one. I'm hoping the Tuscany gingerbread one is a win. I'm sure it will be. But um, on Black Friday, I actually went to Kroger. I went to the grocery store on Black Friday to pick up a few things. Uh, side note, that is the best time to go to the grocery store. It was There was no one in there. And if you're not familiar, Kroger does this thing where you can check on the app and download onto your rewards card, your, your little coupon card, the free Kroger Friday. Uh, every Friday, Kroger gives away something free. And Black Friday, they were giving away a one three ounce candlelight company holiday scent candle. So I got this cozy winter spice and I'm whipping the lid. It's quite nice. It's got like um, cinnamon smell to it, but it also has kind of a spiced bread smell to it. I think I'm gonna like that one. I don't know how well this mini one's gonna going to you know put put out as far as distance. I've had these mini ones in the past and they're good in like a small bathroom, I wanna say. Um, I put up my joy sign back here <laughs> and my holiday napkins, paper napkins. I never use paper napkins, but these are cute and I've had them for years. I just put them out 
<laughs> at the holidays for decorations. I think I got them for, uh, I think my mom got them for me actually. And then my holiday um, little dish towels here that I wipe my hands off with. I got these at the Tar Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. And this is actually a placemat. <laughs> But I thought it looked cute back there. And these are not specific to Christmas. They just happen to be red and match. Um, so I have that. And then last year, I think it was the day after Christmas, I got this Happy Holidays mug. You know, I like my biggie mugs. It was like a quarter, I want to say, at Home Goods or something like that. And so I took my Pink Lake Crusade cups and put them away and put this one out to be festive. And I'll probably take this. I put that in there to store store it so it wouldn't break. I'll probably wash it and then consider drinking out of it. It's just hard for me not to drink out of Totoro, as you can imagine. Then on Black Friday in Kroger, I also scored. You, The clearance bin had this bat, this thing of uh, Nutcracker Ziploc bags. I was elated. I don't use Ziploc bags. I think they're kind of a waste. But around the holidays I is the time that I would use them the most. And the fact that they're nutcracker, I the you know, the consumer in me was like, must have, must have. And I've seen these, they have them at Costco. You can get these, uh, like a big thing of them, and I've I've really, you know, del deliberated over it along <laughs> quite a bit as to whether or not to get them. And it's like, no, you don't need that. You don't really use Ziploc bags and you don't, you definitely don't need a Costco size. And I'm really glad I held out because woohoo, cheap skate at $1.49. It pays to be cheap. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So I'm going to probably going to take one over to my mom's house today because I like to take little um, drink mixes with me that she doesn't have or drink. For example, update, I tried the true orange, mango orange flavor of, of drink mixes that I got on Amazon. This is pretty good. It um, I was a little nervous it might taste like tang. I, I don't like the taste of tang, uh, but it doesn't. It has a nice mango taste. Um, it's a good one. Then update on the Celestial Seasonings Tea. Oh my gosh, this sugar cookie sleigh ride, so good. It tastes like a lemon sugar cookie. It has like a lemony orangey taste to it and you don't need to sweeten it. It doesn't have stevia in it like the Red Rose teas do. Oops, <laughs> you guys just kinda got a little sleepy there. It doesn't have stevia in it like the Red Rose dessert teas do, but I think it's nice just plain with no, with no sweetener in it. It tastes really good. Um, I don't know, I really love the Red Rose dessert teas, but I'm kind of getting burnt out on them because they are really sweet. They're just sweetened with stevia, so they don't have any calories or sugar, but they're they're really sweet. I'm kind of getting burnt out on them. Anyways, Vermont Maple Ginger was the other one that I got from Celestial Seasonings. I got these on Amazon. Um, I'm a little disappointed in this one. Uh, it, it's not bad, it's just a ginger tea. There's no, I, there's no maple to it. So I, that's a bit of a downer. I was hoping that it'd have a strong maple taste to it, and it does not. So this is essentially just a ginger tea, which is not bad. I love ginger tea. It's a very good ginger tea, but they need to drop the maple. And I guess Vermont, because Vermont's not really known for their ginger. Maybe they are. They're known for their maple syrup, though. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little holiday vlogmas day one. Oh, I've got him too. <laughs> My elf on the shelf. See if I misbehave, he's going to do something. <laughs> So my mom and I came over here to Big Lots because my tree is coming out, my my tree is coming together really nicely, um, but I feel as though I have sort of a dearth of ornaments. There are a lot of gaps, and I'm kind of going with a um, gold ornament theme. Like most of my ornaments are gold and it looks nice on the white. So I'm just looking for some cheapy gold balls. I'm sure we'll be able to find them here. Yeah. They have cute stuff. They have a good selection of uh, Christmas day for them. Shatterproof is always good. Oh, I need some more command hooks too because I want to hang up my my pictures that I colored from uh -huh. Ikea in the Ikea what frame. Did I see yeah. They have a lot of nice little tins if you're somebody who bakes cookies and gives them as gifts. These tins are always nice to give. And then they're good for storing. Storing miscellaneous ornaments and things. I'm a fan of functional gift wrap. Ooh, stockings. 
I hung my stocking in my bedroom on my closet door. It's kind of random, I guess. I think it looks cute there. And there's a the little glittery tidy adorning the door. He looks cute there. You got that at Big Lots a while ago. Huh? The Michaels actually. Oh, yeah, Michaels, I saw that's that right. Had all that glitzy stuff at Big Lots as well. He looks cute there. Here's the little boy. Here's our little boy. He's our little boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy, I was worried that you. All right, so my mom has far more holiday decor than I do. Um, so it's always going to be more festive over here. <laughs> um, but coming in, this is her bookshelf. She has some of her crochet, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, or excuse me, needle, cross stitch, not crochet, gosh. Um, and this is some little Arctic stack I made many years ago out of Sculpey. It's a little Little North Pole creatures. <laughs> yes, Virginia, there's a Santa Claus. Um, there's a Sculpey Santa Claus I made a long time ago as well, whose arms need to be re-glued, but that's okay. And these little Santa and soldier eggs. That's a card I got my mom once and she framed it. We I love think it. that was from last year. Was that last year? Looks nice in the frame. I love Mary Englebright. And then here's a picture of my mom and I a few years ago with Santa Claus. <laughs> so I guess this is the, the Santa theme here. Then we have the nativity. And some more, some more, this looks like cross, cross stitch needlepoint, cross stitch again. Yeah, a little winter whimsy there. And then my mom's tree is very, I'm always envious of her tree, it looks nice. She has these fancy lights that are remote control operated. And right now we have them on the warm white setting. I didn't put the Barbie ornaments on there. Oh, okay. I think those have been passed on to you. Light blue, and you can twinkle the light blue. You can do color too. Oh, I don't care for red. That was always freaked me out. <laughs> um, I like the blue. I think you can do multicolored too. Green. There we go. Multicolor. That's nice. Get purple. That way, if you get bored of, of it, you're not committed to any any one thing. We have some of my mom. You decided to put your village underneath the tree? Yeah, I'm not going to go all out with that village this year. Well, it got on your nerves last year in the kitchen. Yeah. I remember you were always saying, oh, I now I'm regretting putting this here because it's in the way. We can light it, though. I got a little flicker light. Yeah, where's your little walk, your peppermint walkway? Don't you have a peppermint, a candy cane yeah, lane walkway? I'm not going to use any of that. Well, somebody might because think might think it's for him. For oh, he likes to give everybody a, a virtual kiss. My mom has really nice ornaments, like this little mouse snacking on cookies. And we've got our stockings here, hung by the hung by the kitchen with care. We have a new stocking this year for a little boy. That's probably going to be the most saturated. And then this tablecloth you got is nice. You got that on Amazon? Walmart. Walmart, oh, okay. And my mom just got this bow at Big Lots. You're gonna hang it up over your window? I'm gonna hang it up there uh -huh. because it's plaid like my little accents. Mm -hmm. And then I've got some greenery to put up in there, but I'm not, I haven't done that yet. Oh, okay, and you got Be Merry Ed. Ed. Yeah, that was from Target Dollar's box. Nice. So from Big Lots, I got, I need some command hooks because I have those frames of the color, Christmas pictures that I colored out of my coloring book and they look nice. So I want to hang them up. So I got these hooks and then these are my filler balls for some of the gaps in my tree. I kind of like the look of the gold, the gold with the white, it looks nice. Um, and this was just about what I wanted to spend. I think this was, um, $4 for all of these. 
shatterproof oh, ornaments. Great. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really want to invest much more than than that in filler. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the infamous ribbon wreath. You this started out as a affordable DIY project. We were just supposed to get ribbon from the Dollar Tree and tie it around this thing. But each little spool of ribbon only covered so much territory. You ended up going through like 20 spools of ribbon. <laughs> took took a while. But it looks nice. It's cute. And oops, you got your Christmas coasters here. Little Santy. And then my mom put a festive light up wreath on her bedroom door. Looking jazzy. My mom is uh, taste testing, making sure uh, she, we, we've got some Santa approved cookies here. Yeah, I love these little tea biscuits. Get them, get them. Yeah, we get them at uh, Kroger. Yeah, they're like a dollar for they're the whole like thing. Cents, <laughs> and you're drinking some Earl Grey? Yeah, this is uh, Twinings, Twinings, Earl Grey. Cheers, y'all. It says. My mom already ate lunch a while ago, but I'm gonna make myself one of my carrot carrot smoothie bowls, um, like I showed in my vlog in the vlog a while back. Was that two or three weeks ago? So I'm just making this in the blender. It is um, just a handful of steamed carrots and some almond cashew milk and a scoop of the Trader Joe's organic pea protein powder. Um, that my mom has here, unsweetened, unflavored. And to that, I just add a liberal dusting of this ground Saigon cinnamon. I just put in two sweet leaf stevia packets and one third of a frozen banana. And I have some, a uh, few ice cubes in there. I'm just going to blend it. That's the recipe. I just kind of throw stuff in, so I don't have exact measurements for you. And then for toppings, I'm just going to put some of these Simple Truth freeze-dried strawberries. Um, my mom got these at Kroger. Good. And we also have this unsweetened uh, reduced fat, let's do organic, shredded coconut. I have uh, shown this in my vlogs before, but it's basically just desiccated coconut, and it kind of makes it reduce fat by the way they heat, heat it. But it's kind of nice in smoothie bowls just to kind of thicken them up a little bit and give them a little bit of chew. <laughs> But you can get this on iHerb. And then some pecans and some unsweetened applesauce as a topping. And probably some more carrots. Ta-da! Smoothie bowl. And your that looks really nice. I it when you needs did that. some more done to it. It's, it's at the beginning I, stages. There we go. I'm kind of squatting down here. It looks really good. Where did you get that garland? Dollar spot. Oh, it's cute. It was three it's the kind of thing you can use all year round. It's just green greenery. Tybee's chasing his tail. So it's a good thing to do in the afternoon. Yeah. I'm gonna have my smoothie bowl and get to editing the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day One. I'm gonna conclude it here. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. subscribe. Talk to you guys Bye. tomorrow. Bye.